YouTube. What's going on? As you can see, I have the grand finals up for the Overwatch League because we're getting a look at Hero 36 in a couple seconds here, in like 20 seconds. We're getting the devs out, they're going to talk about the hero. So this is my question right before we even get into it. Is it going to be Malga or is it going to be this dude from the Storm Rising? That's my big question. We're going to find out. This is literally live, as you can see, right? It's live. We're going to find out right now. Who the new uh, Hero 36 is as the tank. Me and Hammond are here. Welcome We're ready. Back one and all. We are coming to you live from the arena at the I genuinely don't know if I'm allowed to do this or not, but. Here we go. Of the Overwatch team development team. Our director, Dean Rogers, it's supposedly a tank. That's the only thing well. we know is that it's a Alan tank. Dawson, the hero designer, the lead hero designer, in fact, joining us here for a quick word. How are you guys doing? How are you enjoying the playoffs so far? Doing great. It's awesome. Playoffs are actually really fun right now. So far. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Yeah, so... Dion, last time you joined us here, you know, Kiriko was just coming out. We were starting to get glimpses of her. How does it feel to see her being played at the professional level? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. We've been working on her a while, and it's I was awesome gonna say, to see her finally in the game. I was gonna say, I can only imagine what that's like seeing a character that you've been working on for like years, right? Finally getting played. It's just really great. Yeah, it's been awesome so far. Now, Alec, of course, we've seen a ton of Kiriko being played. We've seen a lot of Sojourn being played. It's been very exciting so far. How have you been enjoying the playoffs meta so far? Yeah, I think it's been awesome watching all the Kiriko play going on. You know, she hasn't been to Overwatch League for that long. Yeah. So to see what the teams are doing with her has been incredible. And then the Sojourn battles. I think we're about to see Sojourn battles are wild. On that next match as well, aren't that we? That proper guy, am I right? <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. Call me right now. I'd love to chat with you guys all day long. However, I do think it is time to give the people what they want. Yes. It is time to announce the newest Overwatch hero. Is there anything you guys want to say beforehand? The team has been working really hard, and I think you will be surprised by what we want to Surprised. Share okay. And thank you to all the teams at Blizzard for right. making this video possible. I think it's time to show it. Right on. So, without any further ado, it is now time to introduce hero number 36. Okay, I was wondering if they were gonna say the name or say hero 36. All right, here we go. Oh man, I'm, I'm actually excited, like really excited for this. Who we got? What do we got? <gasps> it's the do I was created to lead Onyx into war. All I have ever wanted is a better life for my people. The fact that we exist is a miracle unto itself. Oh, okay. We have studied the ways of peace and harmony. We have meditated on the universe and our place within it. We have tried to coexist with humanity, but humanity is not interested in sharing their world. How many more Omnix should perish to fuel mankind's dreams? I no love more. this. Our race is only a single generation. Finite and dying all too quickly. We can find our own place and we must Join me, and together, Yo! we will make a better future for all Omnix. Okay. Wait, there's more? Oh, season two. Wow. Okay. I'm going to pause this real quick because I want to see if they've already uploaded it here. Yes, they have. Beautiful. Okay. So, now I can. Now we can stop that. Let's watch this again now. Okay, so it's... Ramatra. Ramatra? I'm assuming it's Ramatra. Ramatra. Ra Ram Ramatra? Anyways. Okay. I was created to lead Omnix into war. First off, that's terrifying. Just seeing all these as these were the Omnics that. All I have ever wanted is a better life for my people. Okay. The fact that we exist 
is a miracle unto itself. I love the Zen ball. And you see some of these other ones with Zen balls too. So harmony. We have meditated on the universe and our place within it. So I'm wondering then, with Zen having all of them, if most Omnics that are in the temple and are training to become like the the monks that they are, if they only have one, and the more balls they have, the more the more balls they have, the more orbs they have, the um like the higher like almost like level they are sort of thing, or the higher uh spiritual energy or how the hell you want to word it right. In it. Have tried to coexist with humanity. So you're humanity telling me is not interested in sharing me. their world. How many more omnics should perish to fuel mankind's dreams? No more. Our race is only a single generation. So you're telling me we're getting the 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 next hero in Overwatch 2 is literally hey, this is my villain arc. Finite and dying all too quickly. Dude, he looks unreal. Place. And we must join me. I love this. And together, we will make a better future for all Omnix. He looks unreal. The staff is cool. I'm intrigued to see. Eventually, like what his abilities are, because I'm assuming they didn't show it here. Thank you, God. Uh, is our hero? Hold oh, that got me goosebumps. That got me quite emotional. How did they say it here? Ramatra is our Ramatra. A new uh, archives mission, a little tease. And what I love about this hero, he's the beginning of us moving the overall lore of Overwatch 4. Makes sense. He's uh, the leader of Null Sector, you saw in the fight. They basically consider each other brothers. He has a deep relationship with Zenyatta. He, they basically consider each other brothers. Which, I want more Zenyatta lore. We know voice lines done philosophy, not make photos of So, so I just so want to, like I said, I want to... Dangerous target on the battlefield. Kidding, though. He's dangerous. So you me, honestly. Yeah. This has been an absolute... Okay, they gave... On its... They gave a little bit of like, uh, this is what his, this is what it is on the battlefield sort of thing, which I mean I get it. Um, but oh my god, though, th like this dude is just look at that. I can't wait. I genuinely cannot wait. Season two of Overwatch is gonna be great. I'm a, t I'm a tank. I play mainly tank. I understand tank the best. I've been playing Junker Queen a lot. Um. And then I'm slowly getting back into playing the other ones, but I'm playing mainly Junk Queen. So adding another tank to the repertoire will be nice. It was going to be interesting to see what his abilities are and why he has the staff. I want to know what, what the staff is going to be used for, right? Um, I like the idea of him being that he's the leader of Null Sector, with that moving into the Overwatch lore in the PvE next season. Or in Season 3, I think it is. In 2023, anyway. In that year when we had the PvE missions. I like that. It makes sense. Perfect. Beautiful. Now the time. Everyone in chat. In the comments. Let me know. What do you guys think of Ramatra? Right? What do you think? Do you like him? Do you not like him? Do you think he's cool looking? Do you not think he's cool looking? Let me know down in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think his abilities are. And if you will be playing him on launch. Or playing... I'm assuming it's him. I'm not sure. Playing Ramatra on launch. How about that? Like I said, let me know down in the comments down below. And as always, depending on where you are, morning, afternoon, evening, night, still trouble, stay safe. We we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, did you see this? Look at him. We got some work to do, homie. We got some work to do.